back squat. Let's start with the unrack. The height of the bar should be a bit lower than your shoulders. Approach and grab the bar, positioning yourself so the bar is placed on your traps. Squeeze your shoulders back and hold the bar tightly. Take a deep breath in your stomach and unrack the bar. Take a few steps back, exhale, and then inhale through the stomach again. The stance width will depend on the person, with some people preferring a wider stance, while others feel more comfortable using a narrower stance. The same goes for the direction in which your feet are pointing too. They can either point directly in front of you or slightly open outward. You should experiment and see which combination suits you best, where you feel the strongest, and where you can achieve the best depth. Holding your breath, begin the exercise. Your hips should start the movement, but the knees should follow shortly after. Squat down to your deepest point while keeping your back perfectly straight. You don't have to go down all the way, but try to at least go below parallel. If you can't do that, there are some alternative exercises at the end of this video that will allow you to hit proper depth. Hold the bottom position for a split second and then go back up. Your chest and hips should rise at the same time, making sure everything is fully synchronized. Exhale when you get back to the starting position at the top. Reset for a few breaths if needed. Take another deep breath and repeat the squat. The abs should be working while you hold your breath. Try to imagine someone is about to hit you in the stomach while performing a squat. This will ensure proper interabdominal pressure. Your knees shouldn't cave in at any point during the squat. Yes, your knees can go over your toes, just make sure you aren't lifting your heels off the ground. Your weight should be spread evenly throughout the feet. Common mistakes. Knees caving in. Like mentioned above, your knees shouldn't be caving in. They should instead follow the direction of your feet. People whose feet are angled outwards will have their knees going outwards too. Common mistake, lifting your heels. Keeping balance is key during the squat, as you can easily get injured if you get too unstable. Keep your heels down through the whole movement, and if needed, place something underneath your heels to compensate for your lack of ankle mobility. Common mistake, driving the hips up and flexing the spine. Although these two mistakes can also be seen done separately from one another, both of them pose a risk for your lower back. Your chest and hips should rise simultaneously when ascending during a squat. If you tend to the problem of lifting your hips up first, try excessively opening up your chest during the squat to even out the speed during the ascend. If your spine flexes while doing the squat, you're either too weak for the weight you choose or you aren't engaging your abs properly during the squat. Alternatives, goblet squat. Hold the dumbbell or kettlebell close to your chest and squat down. Everything we mentioned before about the squat technique still applies. This variation will allow you to get deeper into a squat. Alternatives, Zercher squat. Place the bar in your elbow crease, squeezing your hands together to create more stability. Everything we mentioned before about the squat technique still applies. This variation is also used to get you squatting deeper.